Hello, I hope you are well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm literally just about to go and do some food shopping. Prep starts incredibly soon, as in in a week kind of soon. So I need to go and get all the food ready <laughs> that I will be eating on prep. So I will be taking you through what kind of food I'm going to be eating. Um, I'm not going to be disclosing calories and macros, things like that. That's obviously completely, completely dependent on me um, and isn't going to be helpful to anyone else. But I will take you through the foods that I will be eating on prep um, and kind of how that will work. So see you in the next clip. The single-handed worst thing about living in a flat is carrying the food shopping up the stairs. Every time, every time, it's the worst thing about living in a flat. <laughs> so I'm home. I've just balanced the tripod on the coffee machine um, because I was like, how am I going <laughs> to record this and find a good place? So I am home. I've laid out kind of the food shop and the foods that I'll be eating on prep and I'm going to kind of talk you through it all obviously like I said in the car not disclosing calories and macros um it's not helpful for anyone doesn't apply to anyone other than me obviously some of the things that I'm doing from you know 16 weeks out are going to be different to say three weeks out some foods are obviously going to come and go that is totally normal some meals can be mixed around as well so i'm going to be following a meal plan but it's going to be more like a menu plan so i'll be able to switch things in and out a little bit but the the overall bulk of what i'm eating each week is going to be the same so i am gonna talk you through different foods so I have kind of laid it all out based off of macro, if that makes sense. So I've got like fruit and veggies, um, carbs, proteins and fats. So I'm going to go through a little bit of the foods that I'm going to be having. So biggest, biggest tip when it comes to prep, veggies and fruit, try to buy some frozen or quite a lot frozen if you can. Just because you will be eating so much of it. Um, I've got mango chunks here which are my absolute favour. I've been having them in a smoothie recently. Um, you'll be having so much of it and fresh fruit and veg obviously goes off, off very quickly. Um, so those are the main things there. Carb sources, mainly crumpets, egg noodles, rice cakes, um, tortilla wraps, potatoes, and then I will be having rice as well. I didn't need to get any rice because we already have some. Um, main protein sources, chicken. I'll be having a hell of a lot of chicken. Um, lean beef mints. I did want turkey mints, but they didn't have any. Um, bacon medallions, eggs, and 0% fat Greek yogurt. And then when it comes to um, fats, my faves, cheese, dark chocolate, peanut butter, and mayo, or lighter mayo. So they're kinds of they are kind of the main bulk of all of the foods I'll be eating that will make up different meals. Like I said, rice is in there too. I feel like I must have forgotten something, but that is the main gist. If anybody knows much about bodybuilding, like old school bodybuilding, um, bro type bodybuilding, everyone just ate white fish and asparagus or broccoli or whatever. Um, I hate white fish and I also could, like, I hate fish in general really, and I could not imagine eating the same meal five times a day every day for 16 weeks. And I feel like bodybuilding has definitely progressed into a sense where some people prep doing macro tracking which I, th I find really impressive I could never do that um so how I kind of do it is I choose the favorite foods I want to have out of the carbs proteins and fats so for example if I said to you you're going to be on prep what is your favorite food and you turned around and said your favorite food is chocolate cake well chocolate cake obviously is carbs fats and protein and um, so that's much difficult to use in a meal plan setting whereas if i said to you what's your favorite carb and you said potato then if i said what's your favorite protein and you said chicken and then i said what's your favorite fat and then you said peanut butter do you know what i mean that's how you want to choose the foods that are going to be on your meal plan it makes it much easier to calculate changes in food. So say for example, I'm on prep, I'm on 200 grams of carbs, 
140 protein and 60 fat. That isn't my macros, but I'm just saying as an example. And then I say, right, my carbs are going down to 175. I know exactly where I need to take those from. I know my carb sources. I, I then figure out how much to take away from one of those meals or two of those meals to get less carbs. So that's kind of how it works. It makes it easier when you're on prep to make changes. And um, it also means that you can move things in and out. So for example, I'm pretty sure I probably won't have rice cakes and um, crumpets on the same day. <laughs> I feel like because I probably have those with my sugar-free jam that was in the last video. So that might not be on the same day. One day have rice cakes, one day have crumpets. It's easy to intertwine. Two rice cakes is about the same calories as one crumpet for, for reference, if that makes sense. Also going to show you a few things that I really like on prep or a few things that I found when I was shopping that I feel like might not be... I don't know. I feel like for people that don't follow bodybuilding, it might be a bit like, oh, that's weird. Um, for example, the peanut butter. So I obviously went shopping in Aldi because firstly, Aldi is cheaper. <laughs> so if you're on prep and you're obviously doing a lot of food shopping, it's much easier. But you know, Aldi have those like special buy sections where they have some weird and wonderful things sometimes and you end up coming home with a trolley full. Um, I found these two um, peanut butters. One of them is smooth gingerbread. Don't know if that's focused. And one of them is crunchy salted caramel peanut butter. Don't know if that's focused. Um, and the macros are pretty much the same as any peanut butter, really. I mean, they may have one or two extra grams of sugar, for example, but when you're only having maybe 20 grams peanut butter in a meal, one gram of sugar, what's that gonna do? But that just makes things a bit more interesting. So I'm really excited to try those. I'll probably have those on rice cakes, on um, crumpets, maybe mixed into Greek yogurt, um, but it just makes it less boring, which is exciting. Um, I also do like to eat mayonnaise on prep. Obviously this is a lighter mayonnaise, like a reduced fat mayonnaise. So it will be around five grams of fat probably each time I have it. So that's not too bad at all. Um, these rice cakes as well, a caramel flavor. So again, less, less boring options, I guess, which is always nice. I often find, same as probably what I said in my last video with the sugar-free syrups and flavor drops, it just makes the food more interesting. It helps with that sweet craving um, and you don't feel like you're just eating bland food. Like a lot of these foods people eat normally every single day. Um, I'm just eating them in much more controlled portions um, and adjusting them as I go through prep. So it does make you feel a bit more normal, a little bit like you still fit in with society when you're on prep. So that is the food shop. And this food shop, there was more than just this. I'd already put some away and some things um, I didn't need for prep. But all of this came to about £70, which I think would roughly last about a week. And that is me buying for me and Nick. So divide that by two, £35 a week, roughly. Um, I'm, I've been out of the prep game for a couple of years, so I might actually get through that quicker than a week I'm not sure but there's some things like the peanut butter I'm not going to be buying that every single week same with the mayo and stuff like that and the cheese you're not going to buy that every single week so the main bulk of the things I actually think that's quite accurate um because I think some people view prep as quite expensive obviously coaching and posing coaching and entry to show is expensive um, but I mean, 70 quid divided by two people for about a week's worth, I don't think that's too bad at all. I'm just trying the salted caramel with salted caramel peanut butter, because I really always try it. And it's really good. Mmm. It's definitely got that like sweeter taste to it rather than like necessarily nutty. So that's nice. I like that. I'm a fan. So I'm just out for some steps and I'm not a vlogging in public kind of girl. <laughs> but yeah, that was one thing I did mention in a previous episode that steps are now back in. Um, I'm going out for about 20, 30 minutes a day. I think that makes my daily steps around 8,000-ish, um, which isn't that high right now. Um, but steps are obviously wonderful for... Oh God, I feel really paranoid when people are driving past. 
Steps are obviously wonderful. They can be used as a tool just like food and cardio can in any fat loss phase. <laughs> so they are back in right now. The other thing that is back in is the Fitbit. So the Fitbit, I was not wearing at all during my off season. Um, and no, I'm not looking at calories burned. They aren't accurate. <laughs> the only reason I will be using a Fitbit is to look at steps to make sure they stay consistent, um, to look at my heart rate when cardio comes in, um, and to also track my sleep. So sleep is obviously super important on prep. Um, it can be massively affected by prep, so it's good to monitor it and know when it's starting to be affected. Um, but that is back. So this week is the first week of actually tracking steps. Um, I don't have any cardio right now to track heart rate um, and also to be looking at my sleep score. So that is new. I am going to leave this video here. I hope that was all really, really helpful. I am starting prep next week. I'll be 16 weeks out, which is really exciting. Um, being a bit under the weather the last couple of days, so hopefully that clears up before I actually start prep. Um, but yeah, so next episode, episode, <laughs> so next episode will be week one of prep. So that'll be exciting. Um, as always, like and subscribe comment anything down below um any questions or anything i can always answer them in the next video um and i will see you in the next episode <laughs>